The Zone of Interest. As with any review, this may contain spoilers. What a fascinating film. It's a story about Nazis, but not in the typical way we usually see these stories. The story follows the commandant of the Auschwitz concentration camp and his family as they live, one could say, an idyllic life outside the concentration camp. If you didn't know the dark past behind the family, literally and figuratively, you would have mistaken them for an ordinary suburban family. It's this just the position the film presents that makes the story so powerful. Christian Friedel plays Rudolf Haas, the commandant of the concentration camp, and he is great in this role. He's evil, but a very human evil, if that makes sense. As the commandant, he's always thinking of the most efficient ways to kill Jews, but as a husband and father, he loves his family. He takes the kids on a kayak, goes fishing, and pays attention to them. With his wife Hedwig Haas, played by Sandra Hewler, who is also great in this role, he gives her a beautiful home with a garden, a pool, and a big backyard. She gets belongings that are taken away from the Jews, and she's living a great life. Her evil is not as obvious as her husband's, but it's there nonetheless. The family has servants that take care of the cooking, cleaning, and all the things a home requires. When she gets upset, that's when her evil comes out, and she threatens the servants and tells them she could get her husband to burn them. This no sense of empathy with the servants or having them work for the family as a way to keep them from harm. This movie is poetic in how it portrays a horrendous time without showing the violence but still feeling the violence. The horror comes from seeing a family living a beautiful, peaceful life while Jews are being slaughtered across a single wall. We hear gunshots and some of the atrocities happening in the background, but we never see it. It's like a horror film where we know there's an evil lurking, but in this case we see them and the story follows the evil as it lives its daily life. I highly recommend watching this movie as it's a different take without being explicit but also not hiding the horrors. Thank you for watching and check out my other reviews. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of the movie. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot. See you in the next review.